Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about SSR and SBA. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a question posted on a video that I made about my own process for writing code. And the question was, Frederick, do you always start by making the view, regardless of if it's a service side rendered application, or a single page application in SBA? And the short answer is yes, I, regardless of if it's, uh, it doesn't really matter. If there is a view layer, you will always be better off, in my opinion, by starting with the view than with the server. And I'll give you a rundown as to why I believe that. It's similar to what I said in that other video, but Hey, repetition is fun. So the reason why I always start with a view whenever I do any type of work that requires me to have a view is because if I do that, I know that I can stub and I can mock off the actual interactions that are supposed to happen on the server from the view. Because if you think about it, whenever you have a view or a user facing application, like the UI is the thing that the user is interacting with it is the thing that is value building f immediately because without the view it doesn't matter what the system can do it doesn't matter if this it's the most amazing thing ever because you simply don't have a consumer that can interact with it but on the other hand if you have a visual representation of the UI or something like that well even if the system doesn't actually do anything for real the user can still interact with it. They can actually start using the application and sure it's not actually doing the thing that it's supposed to be doing, but you can show how it's going to look when it's done. And there's an enormous value in that. So you probably heard about agile work processes and working in an MVP fashion. MVP stands for minimum viable product. Now, a lot of people criticize Agile work processes and MVP because basically a lot of people are using it as an excuse for shipping really, really bad stuff. I don't think that that is what you should be doing. I think that what's going missed, and that is very hard, of course, because I mean, the people who really get it usually are able to do this, and it's the people who are not so in tune with the, well, with the f philosophy around agile work processes that you know, like they they don't really get this right mvp means not it doesn't mean that you ship something bad it means that you ship the minimum thing that is valuable now look, think about that for a moment the minimum thing that is value building or valuable to the consumer of the thing and if you have a view uh, like a serve like a complete web application the first and most minimal thing that you can build that is value building is the view that is why you have design firms and designers for example why you have the that because it's very cheap for you to simulate how a system is going to work by simply showing people how it's going to look and you can do that with artboards or you can do it with code i like to see i like to do it this way uh, and this works enormously well i ha i can't i cannot uh, overstate how many times i have saved so much money and so much time and frustration and so forth by just following the, the this process comp every single time I, can, I will go and I will tell you that this works uh, and I, I know for a fact that this is how most companies do work even at the Google's level always 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 start by designing the thing create a few artboards if you create a UI or the representation of the system and you show that to stakeholders, they can start dishing out details. And the reason why you want to start with artboards is because it's the cheapest thing that you can make. I mean, even the designers themselves, they will tell you that before they start making artboards, they will use pen and paper and just sketch out wireframes, something like that, so that you can get the structure. Because the, the way that you have to think about software development, software development and the releasing of software is it's in layers. And every layer that you pass through will have new insights and new requirements so I'll give you an example if you ship wireframes that's going to show you how the structure of the thing is you can pitch the idea you can get feedback from your stakeholders and they can kind of go oh but yeah uh, 
sure these boxes seem all fine and dandy but we're also looking at th these and these and these things and these uh, new insights that you're getting now are they were not part of the original specification and ima imagine now that these new questions that arise just after you did like five minutes of work they could have taken a lot longer for you to implement into your design because you, if you had written the if you had designed the whole thing you would have more work on your hands but now you just have wire, wireframes so it's now easier for you to have a holistic picture of the, what the real requirements are and then you create a design that sort of looks like the thing that you want and then you show it to your stakeholder and immediately they go oh uh, yeah this is great but we want this and this and that and that and that and all of a sudden there's a lot of other requirements that they didn't think about and this is impossible it, this is how it has to work it is not possible for the consumer of your application or your stakeholder to foresee all the things that they could possibly want because you have to guide them through it. Every step builds up from something that is very low effort for you to build towards the next step so that you get further and further towards the finished implementation and then after the designing is done and people are happy with the artboards now you go over to the coding and here instead and now there's an interaction element into the whole thing remember this is still cheaper than coding it's still cheap, uh, well, assuming of course you have a designer now, because it's very expensive to write code. It takes a lot longer to write a working solution in code than it is to design it on in artboards. I'm not saying that one is harder than the other. I'm not saying that there's a talent element per se. I'm saying that it takes longer to code things. And so now you've saved the most amount of time, because imagine if you had done, oh, skipped those two first steps and just done the coding. Well, it, imagine how many iterations you would have had to go through and change your code and so forth over and over in order to just accommodate all of these new insights. And then now you don't even connect it to a server. You just create a UI layer presentation in code that people can click around with and like some static links or whatever. And you might find that there's a ton of other now uh, insights that come your way. And go, people go, oh, uh, yeah, but the, it has to work like that. And the, I expected if I clicked there, I should have gone there and so forth and so forth. So new requirements fall out of the bag. And then finally, when that is done, you can build the server. And even when you build the server, you're going to find the next level, or like there, there might be a last layer of new requirements that fall out of the bag. But that when, when you've got to that point, Imagine how much time it would have taken if you just started building the whole thing and then shipped it immediately, how many new insights you would have gotten and how much work it would have been for you to go directly to that. So that is why I always start with the view. I guess make the lowest effort thing that I can possibly make. And I have, it has never steered me wrong. It has always worked. It, and I don't believe that there is a better way to do application development when there is a UI involved. And it doesn't matter if it's server-side rendered or if it, SBA, it is an SBA, because this, the process of is the same thing. You're, it doesn't matter the nature of the, of the application. It What matters is that it's value building for the user to be able to interact with the UI. If they can see something, that is value building if they can interact and click with it even if it's a static website or if it's an SPA it doesn't matter they can play with the thing that they're supposed to be using and while they're doing that you actually have you are unblocking them from having a lot of opinions especially if you have like a slow feedback cycle because it's usually it's not the case where you can just ask your stakeholder can you take five minutes right now and unless you're working in a really agile um, startup uh, it usually takes a little while so you can send it to them and basically say, hey, can you look at this thing and give me some feedback on it when you have time? And they go, yeah, I have time today or they have time next week. Doesn't really matter because now you have not invested more work into doing this thing than you have to and they can give you feedback. And while they're doing that, you are unblocked to do something else. So you have unblocked yourself and you can do some other work and you have unblocked them instead of doing the thing that I said, like build the whole thing and then just pray and hope that you got everything right on the first go. So what I want you to take away from this is that, yes, I always start making the view as long as there's a user facing part of the application. I always start there, regardless of if it's a server side rendered application, regardless of if it's an SBA, it doesn't matter if it's a mobile app, if it is a computer game, it does not matter. Because if you have a stakeholder who is going to interact with the UI, the UI has value 
in of itself. It doesn't actually have to have this backend in order to produce value. In an SBA or even in a, in a service-side render application, you can fake the experience. You can create a demo site and the entire experience UI-wise you can build and then just stop off all the data and have like an in-memory cache of data that they just toy around with. And sure, if they refresh the page, yeah, they lose all their data. That doesn't really matter because they can still get the entire experience. And as long as you communicate that this is a demo application where they're just trying out the UI level, they can give you tons of useful feedback. And if you just start thinking in that fashion that every step that you make should be the minimum amount of valuable thing that you can make, but still work towards the end goal, then MVP works in a really, really nice fashion. But that is the key thing. Some people think that MVP means build shitty thing. It does not mean build shitty thing. It means make the minimum thing that is going to give you the learnings that you need to take the next step. And in 99% of the time, that's going to be artboards, design concept, UI or static website UI thing, full implementation. In the might you might vary a little bit here in the steps, but these steps will practically always be true for any application that has a UI. Have a great day.